how to use Google Sites to make a portfolio. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're looking to build your portfolio, it might be a student portfolio, it might be a professional one, whatever you are looking to create, and you're someone that does not have a lot of previous experience with building websites for themselves, then you can definitely easily use something like Google Sites and I will walk you guys step by step so how you can build your site, create the domain name, how does the hosting work, all of that stuff. So let's get into it. Now, the best part about using Google Sites is that it's available for free. And if you have a Google account, you can easily create a Google website for free. Now, there are a few limitations. First off, the design options might feel a little limited as compared to other website designers. You also don't have a lot of pre-existing templates to work with. There are some templates, but they are not as vast or as diverse as you would find on any other online uh, platform to build websites. Now, there are a few pros to this as well. First off is the ease of use. Second off, it's absolutely free. Thirdly, the domain name that you get for free is not as um, repulsive or it's not as non-professional as you usually get domains with other free websites. So to get started, simply head on over to sites.google.com. If you have already logged onto your Chrome account in your Google Chrome, then you will automatically be redirected to this page. If you would have not logged in, then just simply log on to your Chrome account or Google account. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can get started. First off, you can get started with a pre-existing template or you can get started from blank. Now, in their pre-existing templates, they have a photo portfolio, a basic one, and a student portfolio. I'm gonna take maybe the student portfolio and we're gonna start customizing this and making it our own. You don't necessarily have to make a student portfolio. You can change it to whatever you want. So let's say this is going to be a um, just a basic student or internship portfolio, you could say. Let's say we want to rename this. So first off, I'm going to rename this into Jane Doe. And this could be, so this is maybe like a skill-based internship portfolio. Now behind that, we have an image. You can reset this image, upload your own, and you can even change the type of header. You have four basic styles that you can choose from. You have a cover, a large banner, or just a basic banner. If you scroll down, you're going to find the different sections existing within the uh, pre-existing template, and you also have multiple different pages. So first off, we have classes. Obviously, these pages are not relevant to me, so I can remove these pages like activities or classes, or if I find the formatting to be uh, nice, then I can use these pages and customize them. So I can rename this page into anything I want. So let's say I will go on ahead and take this page over here we're going to click on this and we can create sub pages as well but let's say i want to delete the sub pages and you can also do other things obviously you can rename it so let's say i want one sub page which might be my experiences or and then the main page i might want to rename this into skills now below that we have the activities page. I'm just going to delete that and we're going to focus on building our homepage once more. So first off you have your about me section. Uh, I would recommend that you make this homepage as condensed as possible. So it should convey as much information about you as you can. So your achievements, strengths, goals, these kinds of sections are really amazing. Uh, your qualification is also something that you might want to add depending on the type of uh, profile portfolio you're building. If it is a degree-based or educational-based portfolio, you want to make sure to add your education at the homepage. If this is something like a photography portfolio, have your pre-existing work, your best work illustrated on the first page. These things are going to be visual representations and they're going to be very prominent on your first page. So you want to make sure whoever is viewing your portfolio and skimming from hundreds of thousands of, you know, and applications, they're able to see your best features at first glance. Now, moving on to the skill page. Now, I'm going to rename this to 
Now, after that, I've added acquired skills. Obviously, you can reset the image to whatever you want. You can even just make this a title only. And then I'm going to remove the section. So just to remove a section, I can delete it from the left side of the screen. I just have to click on this and I can just delete anything I want. Now I can go back into the insert section. And from here, I can insert my own content blocks. So you have your own content blocks, you have your own individual items such as text blocks, images, image carousels, buttons, dividers, social links, and anything else you might want to add. So I want to add these content blocks and these could you know, represent each of my acquired skills. So it could be AI writing, and within that, I can, you know, insert relevant information within uh, these sections. I can also create sub pages. So to create sub pages, simply click on pages on the top right. And after that, so in my skills section, I have this and I want to create a sub page for each individual acquired skill that I've added. So for this, I can just go on ahead, click on add sub page. And I'm going to name it AI image editing, which is our first little acquired skill. I'm just going to click on done and just like that a new sub page has been created. A simpler way to do that is just by going into your pages wherever you're working. Just click on this and you will have the new page section. You can enter your new pages from over here and this is going to help you in uh, categorizing the information on your portfolio because your portfolio is something that is going to serve as a representation so your home page needs to be concise and dense if anyone wants to actually go into depth about your work and what kind of skills you have what is your previous experience for that you need to provide a lot of information and you can really provide that within these subsections of your portfolio website so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with google sites to build your portfolio once you have completed all of your pages you can just click on publish on the top right you don't have to worry about hosting or anything and this is going to be the prefix or you know the first section of your domain name and then you can enter the next you know few words so it would be jane doe portfolio like this and i can just click on publish over here and just like that it will get your free domain name with google sites you don't have to worry about hosting and this is what our current live website or you know live portfolio is looking like so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video